How long has it been now? How long have we known each other? <clears throat> it would have been about 2009, probably, mm -hmm. when we started hanging out. That's right. So it's been a minute, man. Yeah, Seattle. Had a good little crew. Even if I go for a long time without seeing you, mm -hmm. we get caught up. Oh, it's like we we just saw each other. No last time week. passed. Yeah, exactly. But then when we talk, you're on to something. You're always like the boats. Mm -hmm. How'd you get caught up with that? How'd you find them, those guys? <laughs> just happenstance. That I happen to be uh, in Newport Beach, hanging out on a buddy's boat during a wooden boat show. And this guy came up to me, and we got to talking. And he's like, "I belong to this organization." The Maritime Preservation Trust. I'm like, well, that's kind of a fancy name. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll go yeah, back into the attention. Long Beach pit we we in there. Okay, got it, got it. The oil are you got, got it. Way we can reach the sail and that okay. wind so Queens Gate, go through there. there. Okay. Yeah, just started coming around the yard, volunteering, picking up a few things here and there just by observation. It's always better when you're around like an environment or you know somebody that's like there to push you yeah alongside you come down and clean it tomorrow okay um do you want me to rinse off the bag for the fish right now i guess and we'll just leave it let it dry yeah. yeah i like to be around the water be in that shop environment and you know you mentioned earlier that the comparison to motorcycles is 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 very similar and i couldn't agree more It checks all the boxes. It really does, you know. It's it's the same kind of stoke when you're gliding through the water. You got the wind in your face. Damn, uh, anti-gravities. Yeah, I think I might be done with them. Oh. Oh. Ah! So anyways, like, yeah, I just started coming back around the yard and was finally accepted into their circle. And um, it's a non-profit, so, and basically the goal is to uh, pass down knowledge that's um, slowly disappearing. Fussy little cuss. Oh, God, dude. That's what I get for neglect. That's how it works. Man, you ever just fucking fall into something in here? It's treacherous. This boat was built in 1919. 1919? Oh my god. We're in the midst of doing new floors, and then it'll be a top teak deck. Oh, teak is... I mean, that's kind of the standard, isn't it? Yeah, come here and I'll show you an example. This is all new teak decking. Every one of these pieces was hand-laid in here. This will be the end result. Right here. This is a king plank right here. And all this is all hand... This is all hand-laid in here. Where do you start? You start from the outside and work your way in. Uh -huh. Once this is completed, then he'll come back in and we'll put the mast back in. Now this boat is special. Oh my god. This is the Stevens Brothers. So this is a Delta boat in Sacramento. It was built in Stockton in the early 30s. It was a donated boat and it took about 12 years to restore. All, all, this, all this is redone. All these cap rails, a lot of this wood, this is all in, like fresh varnish. A lot of these planks had to be restored. Um, it's powered by two uh, 1950 Chrysler flathead straight sixes. I mean, in a lot of marinas around the LA area, they don't even allow wooden boats into the marina because it's a liability issue. 1926. Oh God. Yeah. Wait, both those were 26. Yeah. So if no one else were to touch this boat, mm -hmm. this thing would have just rotted away? Oh yeah, it was already starting to. I mean, how many other operations like this are there? Not very many on the West Coast. Yeah, 
Yeah, all the, you know, most of your wooden boat restorers are either Washington or on the East Coast, but California, next to none. How crazy is it that you didn't know any of these guys before we went on this trip? Oh, no, they're all, I, I love them all. <laughs> Wild hogs. Wild hogs. Yeah. Spencer, Jason, do you know Andre? Hey. Yeah, hey, Jason. Andre. Good to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. Hey, Andre. Good lineup, boys. Is this everyone? That was that was a good bro matchup. I'm I'm super thankful and that you included me in, in that little bunch. Coming out of COVID too, it was, it was the perfect thing for me to just get out of my element and get some distance on the bike. Well, you know, and and to me, it all just boils down to the longing for exploration. Leak! Damn it! Or you know, the longing to seek out something, and that's always something that I've been into, and that a lot of my close friends, it's they're they're always seeking out to do something. Everybody good? And I have to say, like, through the motorcycle community, gosh, like, I mean, countless of guys that, like, I've met through the years and whatnot, and even in passing, that just have just opened their doors to me. This is a spot? I don't, I stopped chewing gum because I kept having these nightmares that I had chewing gum and I'm pulling it out of my, I get dry mouth when I sleep. And ever wow. since then I can't like fucking chew gum. <laughs> you get the same thing with hot dogs? How are they Andre? So that's it. That's what I'm saying. Tomorrow, we scoot that way up to 101, go pick up your coats, zip up to Petaluma, and then right there. That is only three hours. Right, from Mendo. Once we get to the other side of the 99, onto the 49, like, those are all good roads. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Like, you know, the impressions that people make on you, even in passing. Yeah. Through your childhood and through adulthood. And, and you never know like where that just that that simple interaction is going to veer someone's course see this is how it happens this is how the shape in the, in the works Here that's right you know, got caught in my chain. oh is that what you guys yeah. stopped how much was your gas <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know eight dollars and yeah. 49 cents a gallon no no just leak no. Give me, uh, give me plenty of room in the corners because I have no brakes <laughs> and I, oh God, I yeah. scrape on both sides. For those of you who don't know what happened, yeah. you launched a Dyna over an FXR, FXR that was sliding across Interstate 15, multiple lanes, took three people out, and then you got on the bike that caused the accident, and then you rode it to Vegas. That's right. Because there was no one left to do that. <laughs> Thank you guys. Well, I like bike. I just forget that you have a decade on me. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I forget that all Old the time. I think we're the same age. No, I just look good. <laughs> you sure fucking do, man. Thank you, my friend. Yeah. Did you run out of gas? Oh, oh I thought you. I thought you uh, switched your to your reserve. Guys, those are the bathrooms I couldn't find last year. My vibe is down there. Camp down there, then? Yeah. All right. You want me to help you? Yeah. Right there, maybe. Why don't we move the table? Yeah. <laughs> okay, go for it. <laughs> this looks great. 
<laughs> oh, what? Damn, Pete. Your house is done. Sure? Is that where you want it? Kind of downhill, but not downhill. <laughs> fresh pillow. It looks not too fresh. It's pretty fresh. Bad boy, bad boy club. <laughs> Let me turn on a little light for you there, Andre. Cal Fire. Cal Fire. No, no, he sent his check from my phone, like, hey, I'm safe, like, I'm at the campsite, like, oh, okay. uh, don't send nudes, oh. and, then, and then she starts oh. a conversation, and I'm like, I have this whole conversation on my phone, and I'm like, I have to erase this? <laughs> my lady sees this? She... <laughs> okay, perfect. You nailed it. So this is a couple of girls. Yes! <laughs> oh, it's stale. <laughs> This is like I am so impressed. This was really good, but the fact that you guys did it twice is so <laughs> impressive. I got so weird. Morning. Hey, how you doing? Oh, this is the worst night's sleep. Oh no. You look really beautiful. Mm. Kind of like Bradley Cooper. You're so fast, I didn't even get any of you packing up. <laughs> You're already done. Well, we'll see you in San Francisco. <laughs> Feeling all right, Papa Bear? Oh, yeah. Spencer. We'll bring you a little lemon back. Much better pack job. Look at the size. I mean, it usually goes the other way. Day two, your bag somehow gets bigger. That's never gonna work. I'm just kidding. That totally worked. Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh! Yeah, we got a leak! I was gonna throw a quart of oil under your bike and call it a leak, but now I don't have to. Yeah, your knowledge of places is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. What is that life like? Good job, Andre! It's not cut out for everybody, but. I have to say that I, I never took it for granted and I felt really privileged and, and blessed to be able to travel worldwide and go to a lot of beautiful and exotic places that I would never in my wildest dreams think of going to.
Sounds like the circus. It basically is. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Yeah, you know, you peel a lot of miles and you see a lot of truck stops. It was great for me because I made a lot of really good lifelong friends. The worst clam chowder one guy on Yelp ever had in his I, life. I take off my shoes, take off my pants, put my pants over my shoulder, and I fucking take my it. take my uh, underwear, start wiping, and I forgot to lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> and this girl opens the door, and I'm midwife with dick hanging out, but and she's like. Oh my god, I am so sorry, and slams the door on me. And I'm like, <laughs> You're like, I gotta face this. And so then I'm like, underwear, I'm like, okay, in the toilet, put my sh pants back on, tie up my trucks, tailors, open the door, and all of a sudden everyone's just like, because the whole line of people saw me. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, boys. So, how'd everybody sleep? The other night I was mind. looking for the cat that shit in my mouth. Oh, yeah. Sure. sure you don't want some gum? Jason wanted to do a trip up the coast while the weather was good in October. And I started thinking, I was like, you know, I could put these two groups together. I was just chuckling because it's so funny when you had invited me out. I was like, oh, you know, I, I really can't because I committed to this sailing trip. It was funny because I was just, I was off the coast of Santa Barbara. I was on this boat and That's I'm like, right. you know what? I'm like, fuck this. How many opportunities do I get to hang out with? With Todd and, and this ride sounds so awesome. So my buddy and I, we were pulling into Santa Barbara and I'm like, hey man, I'm going to take the train back home and go on this ride. He's like, cool, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> That's and there awesome. we go. Hi, <laughs> sir. I do remember that. There was a point in the ride where you pointed over and you go, That's where I was when you That's called. That's where my homies are at right now. <laughs> to the road gig in the first place? You know, I just started developing a rapport with like a lot of the local bands and then um, anywho, they took a shine to me and they're like, hey, you know, you know if you ever want to get on the road and, and we could use you and I was like, sure enough. You learn to size up a person pretty quick and just down to the essentials and, and really get to know how a person is and how they operate. Which one do you want? This. You want that guy? Yeah. You want this little one too? Yeah. <laughs> Seashells by the seashore. You know, it's funny because in the past 17 years, never had to apply for a job. Right. Or like, you know, I could send in my, my CV or anything. It's just like basically like a handshake and you size a person up and like, hey, let, let's do this. And we could fit and off we go. Most of the people in my life now are distilled down to that equation. I, I feel like the older that I've gotten, you know, my friend circle isn't wide. I mean, we, we know a lot of great people, but just that, that solid core of just a handful of folks that, that you talk to on a weekly basis, on a yeah. daily basis, is you learn to cherish that. And know. there's nothing transactional about those relationships. No, never. It's just a desire to spend time together. That's it. That's, That's it. it. And to always, always help your brother out. What happened? I heard it, man. Yeah, I heard it. I, d I didn't know who that was, but man, it sounded pretty loud. You got, you got lights, you got everything. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Got tail light. And I was like, I heard a boom. I'm like, what the fuck is bike day? I bet you it's a circuit breaker. I bet you got it. I bet you got it. Uh, yeah, just chipped it. Flex capacitor. Go back in time. You were going 88 miles an hour. Where they at? Is that on the third, third deck back, sir. I'm not saying this. 
be an asshole, but uh, I'm really happy someone broke down, <laughs> actually, because it wouldn't be a fucking episode of my show. Oh, shit. That, there you go. There it is, man. Look wow. at that. Uh, Do you have another one? Yep. Booyo! God damn. Fucking man, Pete Hilton. Bringing everything you need. I'm just glad that my ignition has exploded. That sucks. Is it threaded in the... Yep, it's, it's fucking... Well, you know what Andre has? The extractor. Dude, Andre has the oh, extraction dude. kit. There's the wear and tear right there. On the inside of your plate. Yeah. This is still intact. I am... Just run it. It's, it's, it's got some wear, but it'll fucking work. It'll get me home. Yeah. Quite mellow. The spring broke. Oh, the spring broke. Yeah, and then it, it, just, it just fucking... You were just... Sheared, sheared it right off. You were just too... F driving too fast, man. We were going to bed at his place to wake up to get here early uh -huh. when we left. And he goes, dude, do you have one of these? And he showed me this badass little kit. Boom! Look at that. You are the man, dude. breakdown we had. Right. I know what I'm getting from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Had you on speaker mode. Hey, we're good, man. We got it out. We're good. Legend. Legend. Okay. So. Shit, we're sensitive. Fucking unbelievable. I hear him too. Earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Swapped it out, started it up. I didn't even have a static time, but I did. I, I love forgot it. it. I did describe a line in there, so I just said, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. You think we covered it? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we covered most of the bases, I think. Art, music, I mean, that's art too, but uh, design, travel, yeah. marriage. I feel like that's pretty well, there we well go. grounded. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to say, thank you for having me, and thank you for your friendship. Dude, you know? Pleasure is all mine. <laughs>